Welcome back, I'm MTG Joe, and today we're going to be playing some Naya Super Friends on MTG Arena. Uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, um, I'm MTG Joe. Uh, we play everything from tier 1 list to budget brews, everything in between. Today we're going to be taking a look at uh, a Super Friends, so it's a Planeswalker heavy deck. Um, so this one here is in the Naya colors, which is red, white, green. Uh, these ones here will basically uh, look to be a control deck that we get the added benefit of winning through a variety of reoccurring threats. So the, the Planeswalkers we're playing today, um, with Naya, with red base Planeswalkers, you generally have the luxury of Sarkin, which can pretty much close out the game quick if you have any sort of board presence of Planeswalkers. So Soren makes dragons and then turns your other Planeswalkers into dragons. Um, we're pairing uh, Sarkin up with a variety of friends. We have Gideon, which is a 4-4 on its own. We can give our other uh, Planeswalkers or tokens that get created lifelink or indestructible or vigilance, and it could be removal on the top end. We have Sahili, which will make Planeswalker, or make tokens when we play Planeswalkers. Uh, we have Chandra as pseudo card advantage in the deck, and then the ultimate could threaten, as well as redirect damage to our opponent. We have a Johnny, which can gain us life and then kind of proliferate onto our Planeswalkers, helping them get closer to their ultimates. We have Nisa, who could create more tokens in terms of our lands. Uh, she gets an emblem to kind of ramp us, and... We don't have too many fours, so we're not going the straight ramp build, but it's another option there as well. And then we're trying out one Watley Warrior Poet, so she can gain us life, create dinosaurs, and then uh, we can use her negative as a like a way to kind of deal damage to creatures and remove them that way. Um, to tie this all together, we need some removal. So we have Lava Coil and Shock in terms of burn damage. We have four Deafening Clarions as board wipes. Nice that they come down on turn three. Uh, we also have Cleansing Nova as a top end board wipe with the added bonus of it hitting the Immortal Sun if our opponent's playing it main. We have Ixalan's Binding that can actually catch a Immortal Sun or just deal with like Teferis or something. And then we have a form of Life Gain and Pseudo Ramp in both Gift of Paradise and Revitalize, which could draw us cards. Mana base is pretty standard. You got a bunch of duels, you got one mountain to deal with Assassin's Trophy, and then uh, Interplanar Beacon to smooth out our draw for Planeswalkers, gain us life, and then Mobilize District, which can attack in, or if we have enough of a board presence, uh, work to uh, basically just activate for less than four. Uh, there's times when you have enough Planeswalkers, you can activate it for zero. In the sideboard, we have two more Lava Coils to round out the playset. We have Prison Realm to deal with Planeswalkers. Uh, because we play no creatures main, we have the luxury of Legion War Boss out of the side to put pressure against control decks. Uh, we have Tybalt versus uh, like any of the Wild Growth de Walker decks, Life Gain decks, stuff like that. Works well against Weenies as well because you can just trade them off. Uh, Brontodon versus like Mono Red, Nexus, any sort of white based exile deck. Uh, Lyra versus aggressive decks as well as like the Gruel decks. And then one Trustani for the Command the Dread Horde deck. But also, I guess, creature decks, the lifelink and just creating bodies is pretty good. So this deck is 100% theory crafted right now. We need to play it through some matches to see how it goes. Uh, so we'll do that. Before we take it to ranked, I want to see how it... Or like... Uh, yeah, ranked. Uh, I want to see how it does in just traditional play first, see how it goes, and if we need to make any tweaks. Alrighty. So we are live on Twitch today. Um, usually I'll announce everything on uh, Twitter before I come live. Uh, if you miss anything, everything we play live is on the YouTube channel as well, so you can catch everything there. Uh, we'll mulligan this hand. Okay, we'll keep this. No more lands here. Okay, Revitalize is pretty good draw there. It helps us move into... We're gaining 6 life here. We can turn for Nisa. Another beacon's not really where I want it to be, but we'll try it out nonetheless. 
So this looks like some sort of gruel deck. Weird that they played it this way and not before. Seems counterintuitive. Domri is an anthem for it. So a little concerned they can drop a dragon next turn. So here I'm going to just gift the paradise the temple garden. Next turn, <laughs> we're on mono interplanar beacons. We can't cast any of our board wipes right now. We don't have oh this had any color. Okay, so this can filter at least. Oh, they'll revitalize here. Not the best advantage for them. Oi, we are literally drawing Nisa Tribal. Um, you can target creature you control fights. So they can fight with Domri if they want. They also have first strike which is really annoying. They're just ramping still. Rhythm. It's a very odd draw we've had so far. Uh, so here... I think we're fine just letting this one die. Okay, so we have Sahili as well. We can take Domri off the board. That takes a lot of power off, and it also makes the Dire Fleet Daredevil not be able to kill us. No blocks here. Do not test me. Living Twister with Riot. Probably just make it bigger here. <laughs> so here... Probably just play out the District. Oh, that's sick. Taps for one there between uh, Gift of Paradise and the Temple Garden with Nisa uh, out. So we'll just take our time here. We If we can get a board wipe, like it's a little awkward actually with Clarion. It does take out our lands. They have Jade Light, and they can make it bigger if they want. They can still kill pretty much everything on their board except the Living Twister. They can start bouncing lands, but seems a little awkward for them. See if they want to attack in. I 
think at this point we're okay just letting Nisa take it. Let us talk of peace. We are not getting anywhere. Um just have that enter tapped. Because if we hit Clarion, I'm not really inclined to make more. And then because these brick wall us, I'm just going to pass the turn. A little bit of a board stall here. So they take out Nisa there. Getting quite a bit of value with all these explore creatures coming down. So they keep Dire Fleet on top. We don't really have anything. So they want to attack him with Living Twister, we'll double block. Okay, so here I'll throw a block there. Jade Light's got enough power. Also stalling pretty hard. Jeez. Play out another Nisa. Did this become a 6-6? Six, six? We can try that out. I think that would work, because Nisa... Nisa says, put 3-1 counters on up to one target non-creature land you control and tap it. It becomes a 0-0 zero, zero elemental creature. We should have probably uh, kept the green mana open then. Be wary of to walk on. Just pass turn here. So you can see what the deck's trying to do. It's just that we haven't really drawn much other than interplanar beacons and Nisas. Neheb. When it enters the battlefield, sorry, trample and deals damage, you may discard any of your cards. If you do draw that many cards and add that much mana. Okay, well their board's kind of low. They're attacking everything into there. I'm just curious what happens here. If this becomes a 6-6. Six, six. I'm going to let the Nisa die. Oh, sweet. It does. Um, so we can just block like that. Keep the Nisa alive for a turn. So mobilized district having vigilance, we could in theory start pushing. They can double block with the living twisters. We can only kill one. They, we got Clarion. We got Clarion. Okay, so here. So we don't actually do that much with this. Let me see if I could catch them on a weird block. If 
So you want to double block here. Can I assign gameplay? So we want to assign three damage to each of them. No, it's too late. Didn't let us assign. Uh, so we'll just add this mana. This is probably wrong, but it does clear up most of the board. And then we can make another 3-3. Three, three. So here, just get a sacred foundry. So if we could have auto assigned damage there like we wanted to, we would have dealt three to each and then Clarion. Dire fleet for no value. Just give it X. Make it exile. Ah. Well, they get to attack in now and take out both their planeswalkers. So I'm pretty sure we're dead here. We've lost most of our lands. Yeah, we'll call it quits here. Really awkward draw there. I'm not sure if it was the deck or if it was us. Uh, so here, Prison Realm's good. I want the Lava Coils. Um, this is Gruel, so Lyra's probably good. Uh, Trustani, likely not in this matchup. I don't think Gideon's going to do enough. Gideon's more for the control matchup. Uh, three cards we need to get rid of. Ajani's good. I like the top end. Um... Sahili might be the cut, to be honest. Because when you think about it, we're going to be using board wipes more, and they have two drops in their deck, which they can easily. Mind you, if we get that unchecked. Chandra also just takes a lot of damage. I'll probably cut down Anissa. We're going to be board wiping a lot in this matchup, like I said. Um, two more to cut. So it's between the Chandra's card advantage and at the very worst deals damage. You know, let's split the middle. I like Gift of Paradise because it takes us from three to five and five's when we drop our most impactful stuff. We'll play first. Uh, We'll keep this in. Sorry about that. All right, so we'll just hold this up. Opponent could be on a couple different. Oh, he's on Gruel. Sorry. It's game two. <laughs> Alright, so they have the rhythm. Cleansing Nova is a nice pickup there. Let's go Temple Garden here. So they can start hasting out some stuff. Worse would probably be like a Legion War boss. Ok, 
Okay, that's fine. Also fine. Picking up the Cleansing Nova was really good for us there. So we need to decide this turn. We can take him off mana. And then hopefully drop Sarkin into... Well, they're going to have Jade Light anyways. Sarkin can make a 4-4. That might get them to overcommit. I usually like Sarkin later in the game. Like here they're inclined to have the Jade Light come in with haste to try to pressure. Ooh, that's actually frightening. So they're coming after me and me. Listen to them, I will consume you. Um So do we Jake yeah, probably the Jade Light. I wanna force them to have more turns. Before we tuck lose. that. Okay, so that's pretty good. So we'll just set up. I'll prison realm this. Revitalize gains us more life. Nah, I think we just keep digging. This deck might lack the card draw needed. If this was Ixalan's binding, it'd be a lot better. They'll just tuck it away now. And then... J Light Ranger will help dig for it. We're gonna shock with Explorer on the stack. Dire Fleets. That's fine. They're gonna revitalize. So they want it. And then J Light Ranger. So we'll probably still J uh shock the Jade Light. Well what are we taking hit wise here? Like six? Cause then this gets haste. So they hit us for five. We'll just cleansing Nova. That's fine. It's actually just two they hit us for. So set some back a bit. We do have to deal with this Ronus. So here, now we'll shock with the trigger on the stack. Now we just need some action. They'll probably bin that. And they get a, a land. Nisa's good. So we'll just start smashing in now. We'll take the five. Lyra is also very good. So here. The land fights for us. We do this. We'll attack. 
and then play Lyra. And I think we're in a pretty good spot. Lyra should put this game out of reach. Got him. Alright, so... God Eternal Ronas. I think we're okay with it. Like, Ronas is going to be tough. Brontodon might be better than Sahili here. Let's go like that. Can get rid of the rhythm, it could block a lot of the the creatures, and it uh, survives the Clarion hit. We'll try. We got early removal. Curve's a little high. Brontodon's good. So, Lava Coil, what they drop on two. Okay, so we have Shock. So we'll just wait. We can shock our opponent if they have like a Jade Light Ranger. Okay. Shock this. Okay, so we hit another land. Let's just go Brontodon here. Helps us deal with if they have like a rhythm. Them having a lot slower start is also beneficial to us. Just gonna lob a coil here. Getting the head off the board is pretty solid. Okay. So they are playing the full explore package. So we're gonna Watley here. Make some dinos. Then we can mobilize district next turn. Welcome to those joining chat. How's it going? Where are you from? We are playing a Naya mid-range, uh, well, Naya super friends list. Okay, so they're attacking with both. Um, it's dead either way. So we'll double block like that, get the wild growth walker off since it Sometimes even destiny is wrong. Um Let's see. If they block with Neheb. They don't. Do I want to play Sark in here? See, if we did that, then. Actually, yeah, they can attack with the J. So, here, if they attack in, the, the Branch Walker dies, and then the, the head dies. 
Ah, they can fight here. That's a very good draw for them. My wild beasts will bring your I think we die now. Uh, so that's Lyra. I will gladly take Lyra. No attacks. Fortunately, we are going to have to hit the Domri. Just because it's going to threaten the fight. Hey, Taco Lord, thanks for the follow. Ooh, that's actually pretty solid as well. I will teach you Got him. Hey, Taco Lord, how's it going today? All right, so first match done in the books. Took down Gruel. Run it back for another one. I'm doing well. It's quite hot of day today. Let's see what the opponent's on. I don't think we can keep this hand. Okay. Well, we'll take the win. Concede the match. Fortunately, that's what you run into sometimes. But we'll take our pack for it nonetheless. It's good when you're doing your dailies. Ronas. Uh, yeah, so I'm not quite Texas level warms but uh i think it's about 30 celsius today i'm up in canada it's a sunny one my ac's out too they're coming in a couple weeks uh, i can't keep that hand wow he's all right um we're likely gonna draw into another land so we'll hold off clarion's a good draw there but then we see Demir colors, and then we get worried. No oh, Grixis. So at this point, Clarion likely doesn't have text. They takes. I hope they take Sarkin. I prefer Chandra since it's card advantage. Okay. We will take it. Opponent might think we're on red white super friends. Last turn here. So here we want to dodge one turn. Okay. No counter spell, no counter spell. They might have Vraska's Contempt as well. Quench. Well, this one's going nowhere quick. We'll probably concede if we don't draw something next turn. I don't want to show them the fact that we have green in our deck. And they also have an Eco Bolas. Ixalan's Binding. So, this is a game where we're just going to concede to withhold information. Uh, so in this matchup, I like the war bosses. Prison realms are good. We don't know if they have the Nicol Bolas in their build. Could probably get rid of the Clarions here. Um, probably also the Cleansing Novas. I'm going to keep two lava coils in just in case. No, actually, I probably don't want the lava coil. They probably bring in creatures, so they have Nicol Bolas, most likely. 
or Thief of Sanity, this can deal a Thief, this can deal a Thief, this can. Maybe just play Lyra. We'll run it back like this. Might be punished. We'll play first here. I'm gonna keep this hand if we can get War Boss down. Uh, I'm just gonna lead on the Craig here. Uh, Gideon's like the worst draw we could have had. Untap land, untap land, not Sun Petal Grove. Oh my god. <laughs> How do we draw three in a row? Yeah. This is the part where now we're likely outclassed. Their thief's gonna get a ton of value. We also have a lot of planeswalkers, and they have the contempt. So this one we're probably chalking up to. Ooh. Okay, it's very poor on our mana, but gives us a chance. They still have our card. And they take Nisa. So they can attack with two. We're really just trying to hold off. We took out our board wipes and our clarions, so we can't deal with this either. With this being Grixis as well, it makes it a little difficult to interact. Okay, so that doesn't quite work. So I'm just gonna try to ambush one of their lands, just take them off a of land. Ideally a black source. I think Bolas is three black. See if they want to use targeted removal on it. They don't, so they lose a lion tier. Opponents also got two chemisters in sight, so. We aren't playing Ugin in our deck. That is a major mistake. Okay, so let's tweak this a bit. I haven't liked the Sahilis. Haven't liked the Gideons. Let's go Karn. Let's go Ugin. And. 
probably another prison realm main. Let's try it out like that this time. We'll run it back for one more. This is part of just kind of playing around with it, seeing what works, what doesn't. We will play first. Keep this hand. Don't have a board wipe, but if we're against something aggressive, if not, if, so if against control we have Chandra, against something aggressive we have a Johnny and Revitalize to gain this life. So we'll just pass the turn here. I wonder what the opponent, four color dread horde. So we'll pass the turn here. This is the Niv to Light deck. They shock. Not quite sure what they're on. I think. Let's just go with Johnny here. Start padding our life. Night of Autumn. Okay, so we can shock as well, which is nice. Okay, opponent just concedes. I was gonna go Watley. Um, don't quite know what they're on, but Tybalt maybe some lava coils. Like we saw creatures. Prison Realm. Chandra's probably not as good in this matchup. Uh, Johnny's pretty good. Probably cut down Anissa. Like when we're heavy in board wipes, her creating tokens isn't as good because we lose our lands. Like Ugin, like the gifts, like the revitalized package. I'm just going to cut all the Anissas. We're not getting benefit of ramp from her, really. I was hoping to play like against the blue blazed counter deck. Like the Grixis deck was there, but more like a Teferi deck. I wanted to see how this would fare. Alright, so... Gift into Nova. Try it out. Hope that we don't draw more lands. Yeah, they're definitely on the five color Niv. Thought Erasure. Jeez, you're playing a five color deck and you have the perfect mana for Thought Erasure on two. We're going to take our Nova here. I'd be happy if they took a gift of paradise. Yeah, five color Niv. Ooh, lava coil is a nice pickup. So they're struggling on lands. We have imagine based on the fact that they binned a Niv. Uh, we'll just gift to paradise. Just gain us life now. The life gain will give us a buffer. Okay, so they got chromatic lantern. They can live next turn. Uh, 
I'm gonna mobilize district so we can start pressuring them. So it's important when you're putting on Gift of Paradises to put them on different lines. It gives the ability of adding two mana, it doesn't stack the land triggers. Surveil, oh, so they're getting their Niv back. And we do not have an answer. Angrath's Rampage, Unmoored Ego, Kaya's Wrath, Dovin's Veto. They got a lot. So they can veto. Okay, so they have Sarkin. Sarkin they just sack. Can't even do that. You will feel the lick of my flame. <laughs> Magnificent. Okay, we'll just do this. So the plan is if they play Angrath's Rampage, sack the Sarkin, keep the dragon. And then try to do some combination of mobilized district. Listen to them roar. I don't think we could do much at this point. No. They sack that. So we have a better idea at least what the opponent's on this turn. Let's see what they value the most. Can I concede? A. Okay. I don't want them to see our deck. Um. So that's scary. Um. Prison realm. We want. Uh. Do I want? Probably want the war boss. Can get rid of. Clarion. I like the Novas. I think I like everything else. I'm going to shave one Sarkin just because that seems to be their unmoored ego target. Usually once they name something with ego, I like to cut all of them if possible in a matchup or just shave down the numbers so that it becomes less effective. Uh, this hand is very slow, but we'll try it. Sion into Watley, into Eugene. We got ourselves a curve. Ugin can also deal Thought Erasure again. How in your five color deck do you always have it on turn two? This. Yeah, I guess that's a turn four play. Johnny's a nice consolation prize. Johnny to start. Are you kidding me? I think the card I want most out of standard is Thought Erasure. And this is as someone who plays Thought Seas in Modern. I guess this is what I do to my opponents. So, can start gaining some life. Your name will be lost to history. Go and feast on their flesh. Let's just do this. With me. Gives us uh, quite a bit of power in play.
I'm going to name Ugin. This engine's actually... Okay, Sarkin, congrats. You take one more out of our deck. So the opponent's wasting time egoing us while we have three Planeswalkers going. They could have brought in the Elder spell, which would completely wreck us. So hopefully that's not the case. Do we actually just want a war boss? No, war boss next turn. I know more than you could learn. I eat not your parents. Come, sing the song of fame. Light shall always conquer. So we got good pressure going on right now. This engine should work nicely for us. Baby to fairy. That's actually okay. So let's mobilize district. So let me just so we got one off the goblin. If we plus, that's four. 9, that's 10, that's 14, so that's lethal. Or actually, just in case. Why will he only... I want to attack with all of them. Okay. Sometimes Arena has a mind of its own. Should be lethal there. Boom! So we ended up 2-1 and one with the deck, which is actually pretty good. Uh, we lost to Grixis, which is always a tough matchup. I'm going to wrap this one up now. It's been about an hour of streaming the deck. Uh, if you missed any part of it, you can check it out on the YouTube channel. Um, if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe and follow on Twitch. Thanks for those watching, and have a great rest of the night.